All right, so day three. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe the starter itself is stuck. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to test it to make sure that it works because for all we know, maybe the starter is not good. So the starter is two bolts, eight millimeter. One's right there. The other one is uh, in there, down there, and then we can pull it out. So I'm going to get that out. All right, so what I've done is I've taken off a couple of these oil lines, one off the top, one down here, and then there's one all the way over here, connects there. Those were all 8 millimeter. They have double washers of the, uh, look like brass. And basically you're going to put one washer on each side, just like brakes. So I pop this one over. I pretty much set it up the way it was. So I'm going to hook up that. And when I hit that button, this should pop out. So we're going to see if the starter is any good that way. I'll let you guys see how that works. So that's not working. So that could be a major problem right there. So we need a starter. So, so what bothers me is I turned it on. I got the test light, the little power probe. It said this is pulling out negative. It should be positive. So I have to follow the line down and follow where that uh, that goes. Because that means that's hooked up backwards. So after all the uh, starter relay, putting the ground on the starter, we checked to see if the starter works. We uh, came to the conclusion after trying to turn it over by hand that the piston is probably stuck. So I poured in some of this WD-40 in there and leave it overnight and we'll check in the morning, see if we can turn that over. Surprise, motherfucker. So after a long day of diagnosing shit, we found out the starter's not good. You can do this inside the starter. All those pieces are broken in there. So we a new starter, should be here. Two to three days. Wow. Well. No, yep, there's more pieces. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, I think shot. Huh. Where's All right, so we got Fast the new starter. Fuck, boys. We're gonna put that in and see if it goes pop 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 on its own, turns over. It should, but I want to make sure everything is uh running smoothly. So we're going to do that. Two 8 mm bolts on that side and we're going to ground off to the closest one. To be that one the ground we're now going to go and make a new negative and a new positive cable so everything is new so that's the negative that's going to the edge of the starter and then we'll make a positive well, unfortunately looks like we're going to have to refix that you don't scare me the ah! up. this time we might do a little bit of the uh, mesh to make it stronger hopefully uh, get it done by the next couple of days